Airsoft. We used to be Hunter Brian's Airsoft videos, but we've changed our name now since we've uh, got actually a little team going for us. Um, we're going to talk about our LT12 tees, like a shaftable today. Um, Brian's going to start off with his input at Battle Hack. Um, I actually really love the Lance Tactical LT12 T at Battle Hack. It was extremely accurate and it laid down some pretty good cover fire when I needed it to be. And the battery life was actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie about it. And the stock battery, it's not yeah. even a new one. Yeah, it was a stock battery. We didn't even upgrade the battery. You know, like that, nothing on our gun is upgraded. It's just yet. all stock. Everything's stock. Yet, though, that's yet. the key word. Yet. yet. Christmas is coming up, so... I'd watch our videos then to see what's yeah. going to happen. Because we're getting a lot of more stuff, guys. Like, I know we've been having the same crap, like our same vest. I doubt we did a review on that yet. That'll probably be our next um, video. But, yeah, um, the hop-up was really easy to control when you had a sling, and you could just drop it real quick and upgrade it real quick. But, yeah, sounds pretty nice still. And that's on a little bit of a dry battery. But, I mean, guys, these guns were really nice, um, really well performance, and did not let me down in any positions I was in. So, here's Hunter's input. Alright, my input, well, I, I really much put this gun through a lot. It got banged against walls, it got dropped in sand, it got dirt in the, bar or in the barrel, which it shot it out, and it was alright. It got clean, I cleaned it too, just to make sure there wasn't nothing bad going on with it. Um, it was it was doing just as good as everybody else's three hundred four hundred dollar guns. So we only paid one twenty for them, and yeah. it, it held up. Mine just having a little bit of feeding problem on automatic, but we'll we'll have to figure out what's the problem with that. Probably gonna get it fixed or something. Um, the mags did good. The D boys mags. I really tell you the truth. I really didn't use my sight that much at Bell High except for the far range. Um, these guns are pretty pretty accurate at the far ranges too. I barely even turn my hop up on very much. I only barely make one click, maybe. Yeah, these guns have an excellent amount of range, you guys. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. When I, these yeah, like I said, when we got good. there, we were thought our guns may be way lower or not as good as what everybody else had. But after we started shooting them and seeing what everybody else had, they really did about the same. They, they got cornered in, which we've been playing with them for a long time. The springs probably got a little loose. They cornered in at... At a uh, 380 with 0.2s. Um, I think that's about it, though. Yeah, I mean, guys, these lens tackles, they're amazing guns and oh. highly performance. Well, one other thing. Oh, yep. Um, I, I suggest y'all get a, me a metal sling mount because me and Brian's both broke. We use yeah. sling. Because we kind of messed up. We weren't really thinking with our heads when we did this. We put a big hook on it. And it kind of bent it, snapped it off, but I would recommend getting metal. Alright, well, I think that's about it for our videos today. Uh, like and subscribe. We need yeah. some more. We're trying Please to get... subscribe us. Yeah. So follow our Instagram. We'll leave a link for that. Please follow us. We need some followers and All stuff. Alright. And give us a shout out. Alright, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, see you on the next video. And this is Drops on Airsoft. See you later. Later.